this is where we finished off last week so this is my drawing and i need to get the lines put back on for some of these details here so i am going to stick this down into place kind of roughly and then put them lines back in and then I just have some lines that I want to bring in as well um, I'm not bothered about it being straight when I'm actually doing it and I'm using my trusty friends the um, friction pen this guy will iron out so let's get set up and make this just pop prepare yourself a quilt sandwich so you can have the top you can have the batting and then you can have some backing fabric I'm going to be using some black glide thread that is exactly what I like to use and also some bobbin thread but of course this is going to be black so this is special just bobbin thread I sew using a Babelock Soprano I am not paid or sponsored to create this video I will provide links down below in any of the products that I am using I might get a small commission if you choose to buy that at no extra cost to you we don't have to worry about the stitch um, uh, settings because you are the feed dogs and you are making that fabric go and move about and go up and down. So we have to lower the feed dogs and there's a button at the back of the machine that you slide this off and you move the latch over and then you can just put this cover back on. I have my free motion quilting foot on a 9014 Microtex needle in my sewing machine and because this is a big spool of thread I am going to be using my thread stand I won't do a lot of talking throughout this video I think it's all self-explanatory when you watch me do what I'm doing When I get to a part like this and I know that I've got to jump over here, I don't take the needle out, lift the presser foot up, lift the needle up, drag it over just like um, you would, well, like an embroidery machine would do, and you just jump step over it and you can cut that off later. Saves a little bit of time having to stop and start all the time. Or another way is you could just travel over these details and then keep going again we're not trying to trace perfectly over them lines I want it to have that kind of sketchy look and then I'm just going to travel over here again 
and then I'm going to do the rest here. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this around a canvas and you can see what it looks like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I have over 500 YouTube tutorials on sewing and quilting. So you can see how a little bit of um, Derwent's fabric pens 
can go from something that looks like this to something that looks like this that you can hang on your wall. I have wrapped this around a canvas and it's ready to go. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next video.